So if you are wise, right, if you are wise in the understanding, then you make that commitment to God. If you are wise in the understanding of God, then you make that commitment, right? If you, you got to make that choice, though. James 3.13, if you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. And I understand that sometimes it's going to be a little difficult. I understand that. But know what? It's worth it. It is worth it, y'all. Think about it like this. God is powerful. Where's your, where's your, where's your faith at? Where's your work at? Right? Like, where is it at? What are you doing with it? Right? See, now that's what's pretty much saying there is, where is it at? Where is your faith at? Where is your understanding at? Where is your, you know, gratitude? Everything should be in God. Everything should be in the works of the Almighty. See, and a lot of times we don't put our faith in Him the way that we should. We don't trust Him the way that we should. We continue to just do our own thing. We continue to live the life that we want to live just according to ourselves and our own understanding. But nah, we need to live according to His understanding. We need to live according to His way of living, His holiness, His love, His grace. Yeah, see, that's what we need to do. That's what you need to do. The power of God is in you, but you got to be able to understand it, and you got to be able to reach it and grab it and do what you got to do with it. But see, a lot of times, I'm going to be real, a lot of times we don't really see that. A lot of times we don't really believe that. A lot of times we don't really comprehend the Word of God in order to use it in the way that God intended it to be used. See, <clears throat> we can't change reality, but we could change we could change the reality that we see, right? We could we could change this perspective of reality. And see, that's simple. Nikos Katanzakis. Since we cannot change reality, let us change the eyes which see reality. Important part that we could change the perspective which we see everything we can see if we could change the reality that we see we can't change reality but we could change the way that we see reality see now that's powerful that's beautiful that's amazing that's what we should strive for that we should go for that we should do all the time but see a lot of times you know we just accept it. We don't want to see it from a different lens, from a different perspective. We just kind of continue just to do the same old thing, right? We kind of just continue to do the same old thing, see things the same exact way that we always see it. And what, what do we do at that point? What do we do at that point? See, that's what I'm saying. We need to change the way that we see reality. See, we need to change the way that we see reality because if we don't, we're going to continue to see it in such a way that <clears throat> it may be like destruction for us. It's going to be self-defeating is what I'm saying is because we're going to see it. We're going to be so discouraged. We're going to give up. We're going to quit. We're going to be done. It's over. We ain't going to have the motivation to do it. We ain't going to have the motivation to do what we need to get done. The motivation to do what we need to do. Because we're just going to give up. We're going to quit. We're going to hide. All these different things, right? All these different things. Because we refuse to see reality in a different perspective. See, your mountain is waiting. Your mountain is waiting for you to climb. That's what it's saying, right? It's saying your mountain is waiting for you to climb. So get on your way. So get on your way. See, a lot of us, Dr. Seuss, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. We're going to see it. We're going to see those mountains. We're going to be like, us, oh, whatever. 
right? We're gonna be like, ah, oh, it's whatever. But why? Those mountains, those mountains are ready for us to climb. Those mountains are ready for us to do what we need to get done, to do what we need to do. We need to climb those mountains, achieve those goals, and make it to the next level. That's what we need to do, right? That's what we need to do. But see, so many times, so many times we don't want to. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be some hard work. It's going to be some discipline. It's going to be some challenges along the way to make it to the top of that mountain. Some of us, we won't be at the top of the mountain, but we don't want to work to get to the top of the mountain. See, I can attest to this. You know, I've been I've been at those points in my life where I'm like, man, I want to be there, but I kind of don't want to put in the work, right? See, right now, I'm like, man, I want, I want to get good. I want to get fit. I want to feel good about myself, but I want to do the work. I get lazy. I get lazy. And I understand that a lot of us go through the struggle. We got to be able to find that, that rhythm to be able to start it, right? It's, it's about starting. You see, right? I talk about procrastination, putting it off so many times, every single time. And yet here I am doing the same exact thing. That's why I said, don't look at me and try to think that I got things all together. I don't. I'm with you. I'm just trying to share what I learn and us grow together. That's that's my goal. We're going to climb these mountains together. Don't worry. We got this. A ship in a harbor is safe, but that is not what a ship is for. A ship in a harbor is safe, but that is not what a ship is for. Think about it. Come on. Think about it. You know, we could, you know, John A. Shed. A ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are for. A ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are for. Now look at these different lenses. We could do these different things, right? And we could, you know, we could be in the harbor. We could play it safe. We could just be there. We could do what we think is right, what we think is good. And we could just kind of continue to do that, continue to live like that. But the thing is, a ship is not made to just be in the harbor. Nah, no, it's supposed to be sailing. It's supposed to be going on these adventures. It's supposed to be moving, right? When it needs to rest, it's in the harbor. When it needs to rest, it's in the harbor, right? When you need to rest, you have your thing that you need to rest in, right? You have your thing that you need to rest in. But see, you were not made to just rest, you were not made just to stand still and just lay down and just relax all the time. No, you were made for amazing, incredible things. You were made to impact the world. See, you need to get out there, go on adventures, do the big thing, do what you need to do, do what God has destined you for. Be proactive. Do the do the amazing thing. Do the big things. Do the things that are going to change the world that's what I'm saying do the things that are going to change the world see a lot of us we could do and just be sitting and chilling in the harbor I could just be chilling but no you know but that's not that's not what we're trying to do now no 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 we're made to be more and know what that's what we're going to do we're going to do more we're going to be more we're going to be out there doing the big things persistence is key persistence is everything right think about it persistence is key persistence is everything so you should not give up unless you are forced unless you are forced to give up I'm Elon Musk persistence is very important you should not give up unless you are forced to give up Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. I understand that. I do. You know, sometimes things are going to happen. Sometimes, you know, you're going to have to be forced to give up. And that's going to that's gonna be hard. That's going to be a hard pill to swallow, right? It's going to be a hard pill to, pill to swallow. But see, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Do what you need to do. Keep working at it. Keep going at it. Keep being persistent. Like it says, be persistent until you are forced to give up. Until you are forced to stop. Right? 
that's the only way that's the only way to do it don't let the word give up come up unless you are forced to right and that doesn't mean that you're a quitter that doesn't mean that you gave up that just means that there was nothing else that you could possibly do you just had to let it go you had to get away from it you had to distance yourself from it. whatever it is you had to just call it done and move on right and i understand it's gonna be hard i understand that right that's hard for a lot of us that's hard for a lot of people bro it's hard for a lot of us but see we all are going to come to that point where we are going to have to be forced to give up forced to stop forced to quit because we know that we're not going to it's not in our spirit it's not in our body right so we are going to be forced to and i understand it's going to be hard but you got this you got this fam you got this and i understand that no matter what's going on, no matter what is going on in your life, you are not a quitter. You're not going to give up unless, what? You are forced to. And know what? That's what we going to be, champs. We're going to be a champion. Replace the thoughts that don't make you stronger. Come on now. Replace those thoughts that don't make you stronger. See, we're going to be talking about, whoops. We are going to be talking about the thought process. We're going to anonymous replace the thoughts that don't make you stronger replace the thoughts that don't make you stronger start talking about some self-care some self motivation self you know confidence come on now don't let the thoughts you know you know destroy you your, your thoughts are powerful let those thoughts build you up build you to the next level take you to the next level that that you know you're at Allow those thoughts to make you into something more. Make you into something more, right? Come on now. I understand that life's going to be hard. I understand that, you know, that our confidence is going to be destroyed at times. It's going to be knocked down a level, knocked down a notch. I understand that. But what you need to also understand is God is powerful. He got you. He got you, fam. And you need to realize that as well. You need to be able to see that as well. And I understand it ain't going to be easy. I understand that. Hold on. But that's the thing. That is the thing. Build yourself up. Whatever you got to do, read some self-help books, some self-confidence, self-esteem. Watch videos, practice it. Do everything that you need to do. To make your confidence take yourself to the next level so you could be something more, so you could be something better, so you could be something bigger, so you could be the person that you always knew you could be. Do that. Come on now. Come on now. Don't worry about everything around you, the people around. Don't worry about that. Worry about building yourself up right now. Come on.